الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا وحبيبنا ونبينا محمد عبده محمد عبده ورسوله وصفيه وخليله يقول الله تعالى في حق نبيه وإنك لعلى خلق عظيم وقال أيضا ولو كنت فظا غليظ القلب لن فظ من حولك وقال عليه الصلاة والسلام ما يريد الله به خيرا يفقه في الدين وقال أيضا الدين النصيحة وقال الشاعر في حق النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم الشاعر الأكبر الإمام البصيري دع ما ادعته النصارى في نبيهم واحكم بما شئت مدحا فيه واحتكم وانصب إلى ذاته ما شئت من شرف وانصب إلى قدره ما شئت من عظم فإن فضل رسول فإن فضل رسول الله ليس له حد فيعرب عنه الناطق بفم أما بعد dear brothers and sisters in Islam and those who are not Muslims أحييكم بتحية الإسلام تحية مباركة وهي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters in Islam, well, this is a response to a video made by my brother in humanity by the name of uh, Shaka or Chaka, whichever way you will pro pronounce it. Yesterday he produced a video talking, you know, about Qista al Gharaniq, the satanic verses. So, uh, I shall uh, refute re re his work on a scholarly approach, but just the first part of his work. Eh? I shall uh, re 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 refute what he said bits by bits. So he mentioned this ayah to prove his point. The ayah is in Surah Al-Hajj, which, which says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ مِنْ رَسُولٍ وَلَا نَابِيٍ إِلَّا إِذَا تَمَنَّا أَلْقَ الشَّيْطَانُ فِي أَمْنِيَتِهِ إلى آخر الصورة سورة الحج verse 52 to 54 hmm? but for the sake of argument even if we believe the Ghanani was true just go be in front of that verse and see what happens you'll find that Allah disposes of the plot of shay shaytan the story of Aranik, the you know, he says that it was this shaytan. Uh, scholars, some scholars, have said, some scholars have said that it was his, that it was the shaytan of which it is with every human being. Hmm? Karin, it is called. Well, sometimes you don't feel like praying, doing anything. It is this Karin which, which disturbs you. It goes hand to hand with your nafs. So you have sh shaitan and you have this karin. Both of them work hard to let you down in the way of Allah. So scholars have said that, that this uh, karin whispered some words. So, so the prophet said words that were praising the gods of the mush. Musharikin. Hmm? In short, this story is not true. And still, I am, I am yet to go deep. But let us see what 
one one of the of our good scholars has said in this book, Mausuat al Israeliyat wal Mawduat fi Kutub al Tafsir, and uh, our Sheikh is Muhammad Ahmad Isa in his second volume in in Dar al Ghad al Jadid. Dar al Ghad al Jadid is the publishing house, so it has published this book of this Sheikh Muhammad Ahmad Isa, one of the scholars of in in our our, our time. So Muhammad Isa says regarding this verse of which it was used by Chaka to mention the validity of Gananiq. He says, "Aqulu al ma'ana Allahu a'lam bi muradihi." I am saying, and God knows best that wa ma arsalna min qablika min rasulin wa la nabiyin that we were not yet sent before you any messenger or prophet or muhammad ya muhammad illa idha tamanna only when he has spoken islam ummatahu wa ta'atahum lillahi wa rasuli only when that prophet has spoken for the people to submit and obey Allah and his messenger so they say Shaytan, Fayulka Shaytan, the Shaytan puts with swas. And Shubhat, which are misconceptions. So that the people don't heed to the words that the prophet or messenger is telling them. Yeah. So for more explanations, look at the book Alwa Il Bayan of our Sheikh Ashamqiti, one of our modern scholars who has gone against these stories also. For more detail, refer to the videos of which I shall bring. So in short, Good scholars have, have said that the she shaitan whispers you know words no no makes you know people to feel like you know whispers he whispers yeah that this the pro, pro, pro prophet you know has said this don't listen to him this sort waqala sayyid qutub another modern day scholar sayyid qutub he said, in our, our Rusul, the messengers, when they are given the message to give to people, the best thing which is in their hearts, the beloved thing which is in their hearts, is that people to come forward to that da'wah, to heed their call. Why you do rikul khair and they get. Uh, blessed khair, something which is good, Allah jaahum to get from that thing which which is good, which the messenger has brought to them, bihi min indillah. Fa 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 yatabiyuhu. So the messengers want the the people to heed to that call which they brought to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, the message of Islam. ولكن على عقابات في الطريق الدعوة كثيرة. But the obstacles, the barriers to the دعوة are many. والرسل بشر و sorry والرسل بشر مح محدود الأجل وهم يح يحسون هذا. And you you know the messengers are men. You know they feel. They feel the obstacles which they they get when they make their da'wah and they wish for the people to get uh, hit to their the, the da'wah in best in the in the best means up to the end of his uh, words say say the qutub explained this it is only men mentioned in short from this saying of said qutub Okay, so in in a nutshell, it shows when the messengers take their 
message to, to, to their people on the way there are a lot of barriers one of the barriers is this a shaitan making you know telling people you know in their hearts so 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 in arabic come on don't really listen to him this messenger has brought nothing hmm? he wants to tell you to go against your fathers and your forefathers watch out yeah of, of, of that sort okay so this story of al gharaniq eh, will find many good scholars of whom they have gone against it eh? some of them i'm talking of high class scholars al qadi abu bakr bin al arabi he was of the maliki madhab he, he, he used to live in the andalus region and the andalus which is modern day spain was under the muslims so he was he was one of the big sheikhs hmm? al qadi abu bakr bin al arabi one of those who went against this story on scholarly grounds of whom saw this story as nothing okay the other one is al imam al bayhaqi one of the notable scholars of islam also in hadith wal qadi iyad in his, in his book ashifa bi ahwal al mustafa ibn khuzaima ibn kathir in his tafsir al kabir and ibn kathir says all the chains of this story are not authentic who is ibn kathir one of the leading experts on tafsir and hadith in islam so mr chaka after remembering all the all the ahadith taking the tra trouble know that good scholars have re refuted all those chains and washanqiti in his book adwa al bayan and sheikh albani in fact sheikh albani has written a whole book refuting this story the, the book is nasab al manjaniq li nasf qissat al gharaniq hmm? uh, ash sheikh al albani has also gone against this story on scholarly grounds and another one is a doctor muhammad hussein al dhahabi and another one is muhammad mahmud ijazi in his at tafsir al wadih in his book which is called at tafsir al wadih and the other one is al bazar and the other one is abu mansur al maturudi and the other one is al shawkani in his tafsir fath al qadir and another one is abu sasud and another one is al sheikh muhammad abdu and another one is a Sheikh Muhammad Abu Shuba and another one is al Sabuni in his Safwat at Tafasir. Okay. So what I've just mentioned here is just you know a, a brief illustration of scholars. There are many, including also Ibn Taymiyyah in his Al Jawab al Sahih. Liman Baddala Din al Masih in his book of which there's also the English version online. Huh? The when he respond the, the, the book if I if I translate it is, is the correct response to those who changed the religion of the Messiah. Many scholars have refu refuted this story. Huh? through logic through the quran through knowledge of a hadith also if you have no, no knowledge of a hadith you know this story is not authentic because you'll go to the chain of tra transmission there are two people two people of, of, of whom if you re read a dhahabi siyar alam and nubala they are not authentic people they are maturukin hmm? they are not put into consideration okay and one might ask what about ibn hajar al askalani ibn hajar al askalani has said has cited a mursal report a mursal report there are two mursal sahabi and mursal tabi'i mursal sahabi some scholars like our sheikh muqbil al hadi hafizahullah has said in a sahih al musnad well he's quoted a hadith which has mursa sala sahabi and said that okay la ba'sir bihi no problem with it this one is a mursa sala sahabi of which 
the Sahabi, of course, he will have narrated it direct to, to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Unlike the Mursal al Tabi'i, the Tabi'i didn't see the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the second generation. So how can the chain of transmission just go through, just just go straight to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? La, that is not the case. Also, in matters of creed, aqida, you cannot use a Mursal hadith. You have to use an authentic hadith or a mutawatir hadith. Both these are. In short, you should use authentic hadiths in describing the creed or, or aqidah. Well, there's a lot to be said here, but just brief, briefly only. Huh? I have uh, mentioned what uh, some, some scholars have said about this story and it, it, it is in authenticity. So it, it is not, not a matter of fact if many Mufasirun, eh, those who have commented on the Holy Quran have mentioned it. Eh? The question is, is this the story authentic? You can't just read any hadith. Eh? any weak narration and put it into consideration. La, la, la. The Prophet himself says, Man kathaba alayya muta'amidan faliyatabawahu maqadahu minan nar. Whoever lies on, on me intentionally, then he should, he should prepare his, his seat on fire. It's a matter, is this hadith going hand in hand to the Holy Quran? A hadith cannot go against the Holy Quran. The Sunnah cannot go against the Holy Quran. This many ulamas have said about it. Hmm? In, in, in fact, look at the book, which is also translated in Kis, Kiswahili, the the book 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 which says like Karaha, which she says let me translate it in English. It was written in English, translated into Kiswahili. The book is no compulsion in a religion. In Kiswahili, it it says Hakuna kulazimishwa katika dini by the brother Toha Jabir al Alwani. In the Kiswahili version, in the footnotes, it is written all the ulamas except one ulama. Al Auza'i, if I am not wrong. All the ulama have said Sunnah cannot rule over the Holy Quran. It is the opposite way. So, ulama who have no knowledge of uh, sciences of hadith have gone against this, including the ones who have Sahih had hadith, Sahih narrations. I've not mentioned this story, including the ones who use logic, including the ones who use the tafsir of the Holy Quran with the Holy Quran, have seen this story to be inauthentic. So the grounds of criticizing it is more strong than the grounds of sub sub supporting it. Try also Mr. Shaka or Chaka to, 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 to see, okay, this ul ul ulamas have, have, have said this. Okay, what have they, have they said about the chain of transmission, about the text, the matan, the actual text of the hadith? Yeah, or maybe you have done your good research, but you want to, to blind the innocent Christians, the innocent Muslims, the ignorant Christians, and the ignorant Muslims. But don't worry, Mr. Sheshaka, everything you, you say against Islam, I'm there to, to go against. And I'm there to refute it. I sent you my link of my channel, just visit my channel to see, including the hadith of Aisha, radiallahu anha. I also refuted it. Eh, bring any accu accu accusation of Islam, I shall uh, re refute it, like eating chocolate. And I invite you to, to, a, to a common word between me and you 
over Skype or Facebook, let us have a friendly discussion of Islam. Uh, why are you spreading lies about Islam? Uh, what do you have to do with, the, with Islam? Islam will do with you or without you. Uh, what about in the Bible? And Shatan told David in the Old Testament, mm, now we will leave Christianity because of such a verse, or will criticize Christianity because of such a verse. Hmm? What about uh, Jesus entering the uh, entering Judas Iscariot and bet betraying Jesus, and that became your salvation? Hmm? In fact, Judas was even called a sh Satan by J J Jesus, and he was the con and he was the foundation for your the theology. Huh? He betrayed Jesus to the Jews, the same same Jews of whom Jesus told them, "You are the children. Your father is a Satan. There's no truth in him. He was a murderer from the big be beginning." And they're the same ones. The children of Satan, whom killed your Lord. Sir, so leave Christianity be because of such a thing. Mm. I know you cannot deny what I am saying. I challenge you. Remove a video denying that Jesus was not betrayed by a devil. Judas is carried and that devil, the devil didn't enter inside him. I challenge you before the eyes of God to make a video refuting that statement and also if you can refute the story of Gharanik based on logic based on the scholarly approach based on sciences of hadith and based on the Quran by, by itself I challenge you Mr. Shaka and I'm ready to debate with you the topics which I told you about Islam I want this one to, to be the first topic yeah, you spoke in Kiswahili, but I will speak in English. Then I shall refer to this story in the Kiswahili language. There, 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 there's still a lot to be done. Eh, kakaban, eh, kakablaza, eh, eh. We, we, pikaka we, eh, of Kiria to had to saw me. Chaka tutaku somesha kutoka baby class. Chochote kusu islam. Hmm. Wewe kina Joseph Maina. Na nyote ntawafundisha. Eh? Burete na. What I was just saying in Kiswahili language. Since the video produced by Mr. Chaka was in Kiswahili. But... Uh, I, I, I spoke a bit of Kiswahili, but let, let me try to tra translate. I was just telling him that Chaka, we are ready to teach him free of charge. And uh, I will still uh, re -re refute this video in the Kiswahili language. So I also told him, Chaka, I will like this first topic to discuss it with him. Among the topics of, of, of which I agreed with him, we shall discuss on, on Skype. I'm ready to discuss with him in any place, even if it is in Uhuru Park, in any place, 980 Hotel. I'm ready to discuss with, with you the Zaranik story. I think with these few remarks, Astaghfirullah, Wallahu. تعالى أعلى وأعلم وبهذا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته